Hello, hello, and welcome to the Change Lizards Express Lane, where we'll get you out as fast as possible. Talking to you about football championship game. Patriots, Jaguars. Ah, Jaguars were leading majority of the game. Actually, I think all the game. Yeah, they were leading the entire game. And then they blew it at the last second. Now, yes, some will say the referees helped. There was a blown call here, blown call there, penalty here. Just the typical stuff that happens when the Patriots win. <sighs> I tried to watch some of the video, find pictures of certain things that were considered blown, and it's like technically you could call holding every single play. So them missing that holding call, it's like not that they miss it. Is again, you could call holding just about every play. So. And then they're like, oh, that uh, referee celebrating the touchdown with them. And if you actually watched the, like, the video thing, like, you think there's a fight going to go, and then they like, realize, oh, wait, this isn't a fight. So he laughs it off. Like, he's, like once he realizes there's not a fight going on, I was like, oh, okay, it's not a fight. Okay, I'll just laugh it off. He wasn't celebrating with them. If you actually watched the video, if you look at one still photo, yeah, it looks like he's celebrating them, but actually watched the video, he's not celebrating with them. The pass interference call that people complain about, guess what? That was pass interference. Blatant pass interference. One call I didn't like was, it was, uh, what was it? A third and five, whatever it was, but delay a game. The referee should have gone, oh, blown the whistle, delay a game. But they didn't. They let the play go, and then when the Jags got the first down, then they blew the whistles, then they flew the flags. Flew the flags. Threw the flags. It's like, wait, 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 wait. That play should have been dead. Like, oh, delay a game, blow the whistle. This play doesn't happen. Go back however many yards. But they didn't. They waited for the play to go off. And when the Jags got the first down, then they blew the whistles. Then they called delay a game. Because it was delay a game. But they let the play go through until it was a first down. It's like, nope, we got to call that back. I'm wondering if it hadn't been a first down, if it had been a no fourth and two, would they have gone, all right, we'll let that penalty delay a game go. We're not worried about it. But... Since it was the first down, then the referees blew the whistle and called the, f the penalty and all that's like. That's a little suspicious. But in the end, Tom Brady, Bill Belichick, they do what they do. They win. They win, they win, they win. Tom Brady is just a mazeball cray cray. <clears throat> mazeball cray cray when it comes to the postseason. This is his eighth Super Bowl appearance. More than any other quarterback in history. Just amazing. Like, I saw the video of uh, whoever it is, like, trying to hand Bill Belichick the AFC Championship trophy. And he was like, get that 30 thing away from me. We got, like, a bunch of them in the closet already. Get that thing away from me. I don't care about that. It's like, how does it feel to have so many of these trophies that it's like, meh, throw in the trash with the rest? Just wow. Ah, I just can't. I could only watch the first half. I had to go to work, and it's like, man, I missed the second half. I missed all that, but I actually get home, watch replay videos and all that, and see the pictures and stuff. Just, ah, uh, are you kidding me? Great game. Amazing. The last game of the year was just the best game of the year. Hmm. That wasn't the last game of the year? Sure it was. It was the championship game. That was the AFC championship game? There was an NFC championship game? No, there wasn't. Eagles, Vikings, 38-7. Yes! Vikings won 38-7. Woo! Man, that amazing defense. Great offense. Of course. Hmm? We lost 38-7. We lost to the Eagles 38-7. What? Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. This has got to be some pearl dimension alternate upside down world, right? We didn't actually lose to the Eagles 38-7. to We scored a touchdown, and then from then on, we did absolutely nothing. And there were blown calls in favor of the home team. <sighs> ah, yes, unfortunately, the Vikings lost. Yes, yeah, of course, there's people, oh, that play was blown. That penalty should have been called. The way you get when every time one team wins over another, especially in a game like this, but scored a touchdown. Did nothing after. We went in with a top three defense. Did nothing with that defense. We went in with a great offense. 
did nothing with that offense. What the hell, people? What the hell? Come on, Vikings. You're supposed to be better than this, and like, ah. Uh. And to think, none of our quarterbacks are signed for next year. They're all free agents. This is it. They're done. They're gone. Goodbye. Are you kidding me? Ah, but with this, I'll probably start doing my State of the Unions, no State of the AFC North, State of the NFC South, stuff like that. Get some of them, get maybe one in before the Super Bowl. No, probably get a couple in before the Super Bowl because we got a couple weeks. Get some more football talk out there. Anyways, but yes, the Vikings got crushed. Did absolutely nothing. They were playing from behind the whole time and by down by so much. Like, we can't go for a field goal. We have to go for the touchdown. It's fourth and six. Doesn't matter. We got to go for the touchdown. We get a field goal. It doesn't matter. And, of course, that leads to turnovers, leads to intercession. It's just... <sighs> Ghost goal. Always next year. Of course, we may not have a quarterback. God, this is... I mean, there's going to be a ton of... There's going to be a... We could have Drew... Maybe we'll give Drew Brees a bunch of money. I doubt Drew Brees would leave the Saints, but not for enough money. Jimmy G, Kirk Cousins. We're going to have a ton of free agents out there. Of course, Case Keenum, Teddy Bridgewater. Don't give him any more money to Sam Bradford. Let him retire, please. Oh, my. There's going to be so many free agents out there. And three of those free agent quarterbacks are going to be ours. And this sucks. I was so hoping we'd win. Just so we could at least break or tie with the Bills and only be 0-4 in the Super Bowl, be 0-5. God, at least that would have been nice. Terrible. But now we have Eagles, Patriots. Who wins? Smart money is Patriots. But then again, smart money was Falcons over Eagles. Smart money was Vikings over Eagles. So who knows? Maybe the smart money is going to be wrong again. But, you know, there's going to be blown calls or penalties not called. There's going to be... Yeah, I can already see it happen. There's going to be a bobbled catch. I was like, oh, that's not a catch. And people are going to flip out saying, oh, it's rigged. But then if you watch replay, like, no, he did bobble the ball. Just like what happened with the Steelers. It's like, if you watch it live, obviously, you're like, you know, you don't see the bob bobble. The bob bobble? The ball bobble. But when you do the slow motion replays, you say like, oh, there's the bobble. He didn't have full control of the ball when he went down. So this is going to be it. I'm going to call it at least one, if not two, calls like that. Plenty of, like, holding. Can you call holding any time? So they're like, oh, they should have called holding on this play. Well, why didn't they call in these 18 plays previously? When that's a hold, that's a hold, that's a hold, that's a hold. That's, like, there's always holding in every play. But it's going to come down to, like, oh, they didn't call that hold. That would have changed the game. You already know that's going to happen. But, yes, yeah, so I'm going to say Patriots over Eagles. But in true Patriot fashion, they will not break the point spread. They never do. It doesn't matter what the point spread is. They will not break it. Point spread could be half a point. Somehow the the Patriots will find a way to not break that point spread. And people are like, oh, everyone's going to be an Eagles fan on February 4th because everyone hates the Patriots except for the Patriots fans. Like, eh. It was Vikings-Patriots. Obviously, I'd be rooting for the Vikings, but... Screw you, Eagles. Go Patriots. Go Bill Belichick. Go Tom Brady. Get that six ring. Get that six ring. Do it. Come on, Patriots. Humiliate the Eagles. Please humiliate the Eagles. Please humiliate the Eagles. <sighs> Gah. But as a true Viking fan, there's always next year. <laughs> so what did you think? Did you think some of those... Blown calls are a little too blatant to be mistakes. Do you think the Eagles might actually beat the Patriots? Because obviously, any given Sunday, anything can happen. Look at this Sunday. God. So as always, like, subscribe, comment down below, and of course, have a wonderful day. Go school!